Hi, I'm Jeff from the Nationwide Super Team and welcome to our Small Business Super Business Newsreel. We understand that managing super obligations is just one small piece in the big puzzle that is trying to run and grow a successful business. We also know that reading pages and pages of superannuation updates may not be the best use of your precious time. So instead, we're going to produce short video updates like this to keep you up to speed with the latest super related news and any changes to your obligations. To get us started with this newsreel, I just wanted to recap on the new single touch payroll reporting scheme that, since 1 July, covers businesses of any size. In basic terms, single touch payroll, or STP, is part of a range of government initiatives to streamline and modernise the business tax and superannuation system. STP will align payroll functions with your business tax and super reporting obligations to the Australian Taxation Office. This means you will report payments such as salaries and wages, PAYG withholding tax and superannuation information to the ATO at the time you pay your employees. The scheme was introduced last year for larger employers and since 1 July now includes businesses with 19 or less employees. This is a gradual transition and the ATO is providing flexible options and timeframes to try and make the process easier to manage. So, if you're using payroll or accounting software that offers STP reporting, you can update your product and start reporting anytime from 1 July to 30 September 2019. Get in touch with your payroll solution provider to confirm whether your product will meet your STP obligations. Some providers have asked for more time to update their products and they'll be able to confirm if they have a deferred start date. There's a few steps you need to take to connect your software to the ATO. Again, check with your provider or the ATO has produced a checklist at ato.gov.au forward slash STP checklist. If you don't currently use payroll or accounting software, or your current provider isn't going to provide an STP enabled product, you'll need to choose a provider who can offer an STP compliant solution. The ATO provides a list of solution providers on their website, or you could start by asking your tax or BAS agent for suggestions. Once you're set up, you'll need to connect your software to the ATO like I mentioned before. So follow the steps in their checklist. Another option, if you use a tax or BAS agent, is to talk to them about whether they may be able to report through STP for you, or if they can help you to outsource your payroll to a payroll service provider. If you have four or less employees and don't currently use payroll software, it can be even easier. The ATO has asked software developers to build no-cost and low-cost STP solutions for you, including simple payroll software, mobile phone apps and portals. They've published a list of the companies offering these solutions at ato.gov.au forward slash STP solutions. You'll also have the option for your tax or BAS agent to report your STP information quarterly, rather than each time you run your payroll. This option will be available until 30 June 2021. Now, this is important. If you won't be ready to start reporting by 30 September 2019, Use the ATO's online form to apply for a deferred start date at ato.gov.au forward slash STP deferrals or contact your tax agent or accountant. ATO figures at the beginning of July show that 85% of small businesses hadn't made the switch or applied for a deferral. And while they're taking a flexible approach for now, it won't be too long before they might start asking questions. If you have any questions or concerns about your STP obligations, Firstly, visit the ATO website at ato.gov.au forward slash STP. You can also contact your payroll software provider or tax or accounting agent. For anything else, we're always here to help. Simply call 1800 025 241. That's it for the first Small Business Super Business Newsreel. Happy to get your feedback or just get in touch. Jump on our website or follow our socials on LinkedIn, Facebook or Twitter. See you next time.